Good afternoon, and welcome to the virtual awards celebration for the fourth annual LEAP Awards. LEAP stands for Leadership in Engineering Achievement Program, and today we will be celebrating some fantastic engineering achievements in product design. My name is Paul Heaney, and I am the VP Editorial Director of Design World. Hello, I'm Lisa Eitel, Executive Editor of Design World. The Delta variant of COVID has thrown us for a bit of a loop, so in the interest of keeping everyone safe and healthy, we're doing this year's awards virtually once again. The good news is that the submissions this year were up dramatically, and this has actually been the largest LEAP competition yet by a long shot. So thank you to everyone who took the time to nominate your products and technologies. Anyway, let's hope that we can all get back together in person for 2022 for the next awards ceremony. The categories for LEAP are roughly divided across four of our company's brands, Design World, Fluid Power World, Fastener Engineering, and EE World. These 12 categories represent products and components across the engineering spectrum. They are additive manufacturing, connectivity, embedded computing, hydraulics, industrial automation, mechanical, motion control, pneumatics, power electronics, software, switches and sensors, and test and measurement. Our company's publications have always served as important information sources for readers. We've presented new products across the mechanical and electrical engineering space, covering the launches, uh, detailing the applications where they're used, and investigating how they fit into the bigger system design picture. Leap gives us a new avenue in which to bring readers additional unique product information, what is truly innovative, as well as what stands out in an always crowded field. Critical to Leap's success is the involvement of the engineering community. No one at WTWH Media selected the winners. Instead, our editorial team did the arduous work of assembling a top-notch independent judging panel. It is comprised of a cross-section of OEM design engineers and academics. So these are 12 professionals in total. The judging team was solely responsible for the final results. They are... Bonnie Baker, Playman Doinoff, Jeffrey High, Sam John, Robert Coleman, Amar Manyar, Thomas Manley, Rabindra Mishra, Russell Olmsted, Bill Schwaber, Mike Vasquez, and Daniel Zamet. Lisa, I have to say that the judges all worked extremely hard once again on judging the entries this year. I was highly impressed with their knowledge, their passion for the project, and their determination to fairly score every submission. So thank you to each and every one of them. Uh, we really appreciate your work. And now it is time to get to the winners. Yeah. All right, so for each category, judges could award gold, silver, bronze, and honorable mentions. But note, all categories do not necessarily have to have all of these medalists based on the scoring. So we'll announce the winners in each category separately. In the category of, of additive manufacturing, a silver goes to EOS, EOS M300-4, the future of metal 3D printing and production. And the gold goes to HP, HP Molded Fiber Advanced Tooling Solution. The judges commented, automating a traditionally manual process is no easy feat. Cutting down fabrication time and having more precise, lighter results. Incredible. Congratulations. In the category of connectivity, an honorable mention goes to Little Fuse, SPXI Inline Solar Fuse. Another honorable mention is awarded to Molex for their Mirror MEZZ. The bronze here goes to Harding, Har Modular, create your own PCB connector. The silver is awarded to Bender USA, Series 670 NCC, sub miniature connector. And the gold is Astera Labs, Aries Smart Retimer Portfolio for CXL 2.0. The judges commented, a powerful and innovative addition to the system designer's toolbox. Congratulations. 
Next up, in the category of embedded computing, the honorable mention goes to Umbrella, CV5 Edge AI Vision SOC. The bronze is Sequence Communications, Monarch 2 GMO 2S module. The silver goes to Infian Technologies, Semper Secure NOR Flash. And the gold is awarded to Maxim Integrated Products. Max 78000 Low Power Neural Network Accelerated Microcontroller. The judges commented, very impressed by executing AI inferences at less than one one hundredth the energy of other embedded solutions, improving runtime for battery powered AI applications. Congratulations. In the category of hydraulics, the bronze goes to Eaton. CMT valve section for the CMA Advanced Mobile Valve. The silver goes to Hydroforce Incorporated, Hydroforce IoT. And the gold goes to Fluid Metering Incorporated, the FVD Variable Dispense Next Generation All-in-One Pump. The judges commented, the reduction of components by combining three functions within one pump is innovative. Fewer components mean fewer potential leakage points and better system reliability. Congratulations. In the category of industrial automation, always one of our largest, we had three honorable mentions and a tie for bronze. The first honorable mention goes to Nexen Group, NextSafe Functional Safety Certified Rod Locks. An honorable mention is also awarded to Acrobus Systems, Punch and Pack. And a third honorable mention for Schmersel, AZM40 Electronic Solenoid Interlock. The first bronze in this category goes to Phoenix Contact USA, Near FI Coupler. And the second bronze is awarded to Weidmuller, Rockstar Heavy Duty Connector. The silver goes to Easy Automation slash AVG Automation. Easy Touch E27 Series Detachable Front. And finally, the gold is for Chief Tech Precision USA Company Limited. Ultra Thin Linear Motor Stage Mini Robot. The judges commented, compact, accurate, and efficient. This is ideal for high speed, low payload applications where very compact size is required. Congratulations. In the category of mechanical, the bronze goes to Ogura Industrial Corporation, brake and mechanical torque limiter, combination for cobots. The silver goes to IKO International, IKO CRBTF cross roller bearings. And the gold goes to Breco Flex Company LLC, Breco Roll Timing Belts. The judges commented, the eloquent idea lowers heat and friction for a common application. Multiple installations in a facility add up to lower energy bills and less overall ambient heat. Congratulations. In the category of motion control, another big field, we had the same situation with a tie for bronze. In addition, one honorable mention is awarded to Bosch Rexroth, smart function kit for pressing and joining. Another honorable mention goes to Portiscap, Ultra EC22 ECP 35-2A. And a final honorable mention is awarded to AutoTech Controls, Programmable Smart Encoder. A bronze goes to Positol Fraba Inc. Positol 22 millimeter diameter kit encoders for motor feedback. And the second bronze is for Dover Motion, Smart Stage XY. In this category, the silver goes to Delta Electronics, Scara Robot with Integrated Fifth Access. And our gold award in motion control goes to Beckoff Automation, Explainer Flying Motion System. The judges commented, the revolutionary explainer approach helps move product effortlessly with a smooth vibrationless exit across production floors. If feasible, products on the explainer platters can be on the XY axis right side up or upside down, and on the Z vertical axis. 
Excellent innovation. Congratulations. In the category of pneumatics, the bronze goes to PhD Incorporated, Flexion. The silver goes to Festo, Pressure and Vacuum Generator, PGVA. And the gold goes to Emerson, Wireless Auto Recovery Module, ARM. The judges commented, Great product, which would really help in the setting up and diagnostics of pneumatic systems without actually physically connecting up the system. This makes maintenance easier and increases practicality. Congratulations. In the category of power electronics, the bronze goes to power integrators, InnoSwitch 4CZ and Clamp Zero. The silver goes to ST Microelectronics, ST60A2, 60 gigahertz contactless RF transceiver. And the gold goes to Texas Instruments, industry's first automotive gain FET with integrated driver. The judges commented, impressive switching speeds to minimize EMI issues, demonstrated device reliability, potential low cost, high power conversion compared to SIC. Congratulations. In the category of software, the bronze goes to GE Digital, iFix 6.5. The silver goes to Synopsys, RTL Architect. And the gold goes to Proto Labs, revamped digital quoting platform. The judges commented, Engineers have access to a 3D view of their CAD model that highlights any manufacturing issues that need to be adjusted. Congratulations. In the category of switches and sensors, we had an honorable mention go to Banner Engineering, Q5X Jam Detection. An honorable mention is awarded to GMN, Custom Membrane Switch Panel for Logilube's Smart Oil M Series. And an honorable mention for Omron Electric Components, B5W-DB Diffuse Reflective Sensor. Next, we had a tie for silver. The first silver goes to Infion Technologies AG, Extensive Pass CO2 Sensor. And the second silver goes to Ashcroft Incorporated, Ashcroft Sealed E2X and E2F Industrial Pressure Transducers. And lastly, the gold in this category is awarded to Texas Instruments, TMCS 1100 and TMCS 1101 Hall Effect Current Sensors. The judges commented, the product exploits zero drift technology to create devices with low drift and high accuracy over time and temperature. The three kilovolts MS AC and DC isolation makes these devices appropriate for motor drivers, solar inverters, energy storage equipment, and power supplies. Congratulations. And lastly, in the category of test and measurement, the bronze goes to Roden Schwartz, RNS SMM 100A. The silver goes to iTech Electronic Company Limited, IT7900 Regenerative Grid Simulator. And the gold goes to Keysight Technologies, N9042B UXA X Series Signal Analyzer. The judges commented, instrumentation such as the signal analyzer are essential tools for designers working at these outer limits of R&D where measurements are extraordinarily difficult and the smallest design subtleties will have major negative effect on circuit and system performance. Designers need confidence in their instrumentation and its capabilities. Congratulations. Well, thank you all for your kind attendance, and we look forward to seeing the innovations submitted for the 2022 LEAP Awards. Next year's nomination process will officially open on May 2nd, so mark your calendars. Congratulations to all of the winners. They will be posted at designworldonline.com in the next few minutes.